What's up, people? This is the first official video I'm doing for my hunt channel. So what I've been doing is about a week ago, I decided I was going to get to the Marvel Legends figures. They've always been something that I've happened to check out when I'm in stores and look at anyway. And the more I've been paying attention to it, I'm starting to look at people's Instagram accounts and see the dynamic figure posing and things that people do with them. I figured, hey, I kind of want to be a part of that community. I think it's awesome. Plus, watching videos of different toy hunters and people like that go through these different stores trying to find these specific items that they're looking for is just pretty cool. It's something to kill time. It's a good hobby. To the point of it, I've been going through the past few days that I've been off work and everything, hitting up the local Toys R Us, Target, Walgreens, anywhere that I know happens to be selling these things. And today I had to go buy Fred's for a prescription and happened to walk down the toy aisle. And when I did that, I saw that they carry some of these figures, which I didn't know they did in the first place. Well, after that, I start scooping through and I find a Green Goblin, which pissed me off because I just bought one on eBay. It's kind of some bullshit because I paid more for a loose figure with the accessories than for the figure in the freaking package. Stupid. They had that. They had almost the whole wave of the Red Skull build a figure, which would have Captain America, a bunch of peg warmers, nothing real particularly. But I did happen to find a Taskmaster. Pretty happy with it. Didn't know they were going to have that at all, so I had to go ahead and get that. They didn't have the Demolition Man, but since I've been going around and looking, I do know where one is at locally in my area. So I will definitely be picking that up probably within the next few days. Maybe Friday. I get paid Friday and it seems safer. I don't want to eat cereal tomorrow and the next day, so I'll wait till Friday and do that. I'm not going to open this up just yet because I'm waiting until I get my desk set up. That way I can kind of do proper unboxings. Do some dynamic poses that way I can start posting it on Instagram and getting the ball rolling that way. And this thing is just cool. Now, I didn't record me going into the store and actually showing what was down the aisles and everything like that because I had my phone in the car, I had in the charger. I didn't even think I was going to see it anyway. But going forward, when I do go and start looking for these figures and everything like that, I'll actually show going down the aisle and see, being able to show what they have and everything like that. So that will be a part of it going forward. It comes with accessories. You've got the red skull head. The sword looks be very neon, so I'm gonna lose the light. It should have a good effect to it. There's a quick scan of the back of figure for it. And whenever I do do the unboxing video for this, I'm also gonna include several other figures I've picked up since I've been starting this hobby. I know I've got the Netflix series Bullseye to open up. The two pack of Thor and Valkyrie from the Ragnarok movie. I think that's it for now. And then I'm also going to include unboxing a few comic books that I've gotten off the bay. I've got this box right here that's going to be opened up. I know that's a big, big Silver Age key. I figured that would be a good one to open up with the unboxing videos. But yeah, I'll have those posted within the next week.